So in this video, I'm going to try to illustrate to you the VOS 1.5 load balancer, which I already did a video on. So this is, uh, I did a video on load balancer, but it was only for IPv4. What I am doing in this one is I am including IPv6, and I'm also including NAT64, combining these two features together since they're introduced in VOS 1.5. So in this setup, we will have IPv6, IPv4 configured in dual stack, and then also NAT64 translation. Let's look at the setup. It's a very busy slide here or setup here, but uh, it would help test the IPv4 and IPv6 protocols together and how they can play together in a, a dual stack and NAT64 fashion. 1.5 just got released some time ago. It's not on LTS uh, yet, but you can download the rolling release. That's what I did, two CPUs, two gig of memory. I think I'm running with one gig. Uh, but here's my setup. I've got VOS 1.5 with NAT64 and load balancer configured here. And on my internal sides, so let's pretend that this is my internal network. I have two web servers. The web servers are VOS2 and VOS3 enabled with HTTPS services, listening on their loopbacks, 222 and 3333. They're connected with segments 12 and 13. And then the external facing segment, whether you want to call it external or internet facing, You have VOS Ethernet 0 that's configured with two IP addresses, IPv6, one colon colon triple one slash 64, and IPv4, one 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 slash 24. This guy is the same interface. So this guy is sitting on the same subnet as my puppy Linux. Puppy Linux is IPv4 only and my Ubuntu is IPv6 only. So what, and the VOS 1.5 gateway is configured with loopback, with an IPv6 address and an IPv4 address. This would be used if you're using the mode for load balancing, if the mode is TCP. If the mode is TCP, which basically means SSH, your, your clients are getting into backend servers and they're using SSH or some other TCP uh, protocol, then this address would be used as a translation. But in, in my example, the NAT64, I'm only using HTTP. So I'll, I'll show you that. The mode is HTTP instead of TCP. So I'll show you that. But it's, it's again, this VOS one is acting as a gateway for load balancing as well as NAT64. This is, again, my Ubuntu Linux. It's going to have a browser. And that browser is going to hit. Browser client is going to hit a publicly routed IPv6 address. And that address is going to get translated to this one, IPv4, and this one, IPv4, because it's getting load bounds. So if an IPv6 client hits this address, it gets load bounds into IPv4, converted into IPv4 and load balanced. If an IPv4 only client hits this address, it gets load bounds between the two does not get NAT64. 
because it's only v4 to v4. This is v6 to v4. This is v4 to v4. So having said that, let's do the demo. I'm going to hit the Ubuntu and show you how the Ubuntu interface is configured. It's configured with this address. One colon colon triple two slash 64. And it can ping this guy, one colon colon triple one. And it can also reach two colon colon triple one. And two colon colon triple. So the reachability is there. Now I will hit it with a browser. And the browser is hitting two colon colon triple one. It's hitting this address and it's going to get load balanced, converted into V4 and load balanced. There you go. V6 only. And you can see, I'll show you this as well. You just do a on the web servers, do a monitor interface Ethernet zero, whichever interface is like this guy is Ethernet zero and Ethernet zero. So I'm monitoring this interface traffic and I'll show you what's going on. So when I hit it, watch what's going on here. It's coming from it's responding back to 12001, which is the address here. Okay. It's translating the IPv6 address to 12001 and we're sending the request to 2222 right here. Same thing will happen here. It's except that it's on a different segment, 13001. See that? So it's hitting translating into this segment's source address and hitting the web server listening address. All right, so that's your web server information that it's getting hit by Ubuntu, which is only configured on IPv6. Let's go to the v4 client, which is Puppy. Same thing, if you notice these two web servers, they'll, they'll get, they're pretty much getting the same information. For them, it's transparent because this guy is intercepting the HTTP requests because I'm hitting this address for v4 and this address for v6. It's getting load bounds v2, vs router 2, vs router 3. So that's your load balancing functioning already. And your VOS 1.5, let's take a look at the configuration of VOS 1.5. So the 1.5 has its interfaces, E0 configured with V4 address and a V6 address. E1 is this one and E2 is this one. E1 is configured with 1201. E2 is configured with 3001. Okay. Now the uh, I have put up this uh, 1200 triple one here because the NAT64 would not uh, complete unless you put in there. And this is getting used only when you do a TCP mode. Right now I'm just demonstrating the HTTP mode. So it's just using the interface address and not this one. For TCP, it's going to use this one. All right, so that's your interfaces on VOS 1.5. Let's take a look at the NAT64. Very straightforward. You're defining a publicly routed IPv6 prefix, which is the destination for the client. And it says you're, it's doing a source NAT. So basically when you hit this prefix, which is right here, two colon colon triple one, it's going to source NAT to these addresses. It's going to change the source address. Okay, the source address is not going to be this one. So it's doing a source address translation. 
and it's translating it to this address if you use TCP, mode TCP in the load balancer. But in this case, it's using the interface addresses. So you have to put this one, it wouldn't complete unless you put it in. So I just put in the loopback address. So that's your NAT64. <clears throat> now let's take a look at the load balancing. Load balancing, I've already covered this in the last video, but again, you define the servers. These two are, two are services doing HTTP mode. So it's not TCP, now SSH is not gonna work. It's only doing HTTP. And once you have the two servers defined, uh, you would tie those servers in a, and they're doing an around robin, robin fashion load balancing. You would tie them to the services. So your first service here is on IPv4, this listening on this one. And the second one is IPv6 listening on this one here. And that's it. That's your load balancing and that 6.4 configured and functional. Pretty straightforward and very useful and handy. That makes I, VOS 1.5 a very powerful software uh, that not only does firewalls, VPNs, IPsec, but also NAT64 load balancing and other good stuff. So I hope this helps. And again, I have an IPv6, IPv4 comparison video if you want to uh, see that before this one to understand how IPv6 works or it's formulated. But this is one definitely is needs a, a re prerequisite for this one would be to know how IPv6 actually uh, works. Hope this helps.